Oh man. All right, here we go. I um, I got this procedure estimate right here. That's Buddy. Buddy, wanna say hi to YouTube? Hi, Buddy. Say hi. Hi. Who's a good daddy? I am. Yeah. He loves me, guys. He's so happy and he's so excited. My little boy's growing up. This procedure right over here is actually for my dog, Mim. This estimate only approximates the cost of this visit. It does not include any treatments that may be deemed necessary upon examination and commencement of the included treatments. You are responsible for all fees incurred during this visit, included or not on this estimate. So basically what this estimate is, is a uh, surgery for my dog, my dog, Mimi. She's only a year and 11 months old. If you guys don't actually know, I got this dog about a year and a half ago. I want to say when she was three months old because Jeanette moved into New York with me and an apartment. I made a video about it a long time ago. If you type in face sensor new puppy, you'll see it. Uh, basically, we just got a new puppy because Jeanette left her whole family, her culture, her job, her language, her country to come live with me in the United States and learn English. And she said, dog, I want a dog. That was so bad. Let me do it one more time. Dog, I need a dog. I'm so lonely. I need dog. Dog, 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 dog. I just had to get my vocals warmed up a little bit. I'm not even going to lie. Before I get on the scrim with my teammates, I have to call out a lot. So I'll be like, all right, I'm gonna get warmed up. I'm gonna shoot some bots. As I'm shooting some bots, I'll be like, <clears throat> dog, dog, dog. Just getting like all those vocal cords warmed up for my scrim so I can be like, yo, one's pushing your water, one's pushing your bricks. Nice, clear, concise call. You guys know how I do it. Gotta be the best player I could be, best communicator I gave you for my team. Okay, enough of the jokes, guys. Basically, what's going on right now is my dog needs a surgery, okay? And it's a pretty big deal. She needs a double knee surgery, not one knee two knees and it's tough man like let me tell you man i've just been getting the worst string of bad luck i tweeted on a twitter today when it rains it pours my shot right now it's, it's even off too like it just keeps on pouring on me man i don't want to be that negative guy and give you guys these negative vibes but man like things have just not been going my way i actually went out to the beach yesterday i went to go dock my jet ski on the water and i accidentally like dropped my clip in the water and i couldn't find it because it was high tide like everything just keeps going wrong then i go to leave the dock and i got a ticket for parking my jet ski at the dock because the guy who gave me the ticket didn't see that i had the actual permit on on the side of my jet ski he just didn't see it so he gave me a ticket now i gotta go to court again it's just like everything just is not going my way right now man and, and this is like the icing on the cake i could deal with the little things like the tickets and and like just miscommunications and errors but these types of things like my dogs they really hit me at home man my dogs are something that i consider family to me i actually love my dogs more than i love most humans like dogs bring me ultimate joy ultimate happiness every time i come home and i see them i instantly just get happy i just want to love them and give them hugs and kisses for like 15 minutes and just play with them walk them make sure that they're doing good like i just love dogs i'm a dog guy i always have been always will be and this just isn't fair because my dog's only a year and 11 months old she's young i've taken great care of her she's had a great diet great exercise has gotten a lot of love and for her to get this problem it just it doesn't make any sense it doesn't seem right man so with my dog Mimi what happened to her was that she has these problems with her knees like it's a genetic disorder where the cartilage actually goes away completely like she just loses all control in the cartilage and there's actually no more cartilage which is like the strength in the knees that connects the bones and the joints together she has none of that at all in her knees anymore and she just has this really weird problem where it just goes away and it doesn't come back at all so there's two solutions for my dog solution number one is a temporary one which I actually ended up doing when I went away to Ohio. If you guys don't know, I came home from the league for like the break and the weekend uh, just to check on my house and do this pipe thing. And then I found out that my dog was unable to walk anymore. I didn't elaborate about this on social media. I did post out a tweet a couple weeks ago saying that my dog may need a double knee uh, surgery, like a repair, and, and it's just crazy to me. But basically, when I went back home, I found out that my dog was not able to walk when she woke up in the morning one time. And I was so confused by it. I thought she was trolling me or something. She literally just couldn't move. She was just sitting there. So I took my dog to a vet as fast as I possibly could and they told me that she's gonna need surgery right away they said it was gonna cost an absurd amount of money so I ended up getting a second opinion I went to another doctor well my mom took the dog to another doctor I went back to the Call of Duty World League and my mom told me that they were gonna give her this plan of injections for her legs so basically how it works you get two injections uh, per week for a month so it's gonna be eight injections total and it's gonna build the cartilage back up in her leg and it's gonna last for approximately two years I thought this was a no-brainer I'm like okay well these injections are only a couple hundred dollars and I only have to do this every two years and my dog's gonna be completely fine it makes a lot more sense for me to do that than to put my thought my dog through a surgery because a surgery is going to be a crazy process so Mimi actually just finished her last round of shots and she seems a lot better but she's still not 100 she used to do this really cute thing where she would like kick her legs back every time she would get angry or excited or happy or she would like go pee in somebody's backyard and like know that she got away with something so she started like kicking her legs back like ha i gotcha she doesn't do that anymore so she's not 100 she's just not the same dog you know it's just really 
sad for me to see that. Like, the fact that I gotta put injections in my dog's legs for her to be able to walk, it's just not something that is, is making me sleep good at night. I keep thinking about it a lot. So I took my dog Buddy to the vet the other day just to get some shots, and uh, they basically told me that those shots that I got for my dog aren't gonna last for a good two years, and my shot is off right now. I'm trying to focus on the story. So they gave me a quote, an estimate for the uh, the surgery for my dog, and keep on that's for one knee, and it's a, it's a good amount of money. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's expensive. I don't wanna just disclose it all to you guys. I don't wanna put everything out there for you guys, but it's gonna be just for one knee, and, and the problem with the surgery is that you put them in for the surgery, they do the surgery, and then it takes about four months for the dog to recover from the surgery, and then they could do the other knee. So the whole process for this dog is going to take a good year of its life, and dogs only live maybe 10, 15, 20 years if they're lucky. So I don't know. I need your help, guys. I want to know what you guys think. Like, I'm leaning towards doing the surgery just because I want her to feel better, and I want to make sure that her legs are going to be done the right way. Like, I don't want to have to keep on injecting my dog with syringes twice a month or twice every, like, you know. I, I don't know. I just don't want to inject her with anything. I don't want. I don't think it's right. It's definitely helping Mimi right now, but I just don't see it as a, a permanent solution. I just think of it as a temporary solution for a permanent problem that needs to be fixed by surgery. I'm just trying to think about it if it was me. Like, would I want to be injected every day for the rest of my life so that I could walk, or would I want to just get my leg repaired, you know? I just think the surgery makes more sense, but I don't know. At the same time, that recovery time, and she can't, like, she has to wear this dunce cap around her neck for two weeks, so she can't scratch up the stitches in her leg, and then she's not allowed to walk at all for two weeks also, so that's kind of crazy to me. Like, we gotta put her in solitary confinement for two weeks, and then slowly ease her into walking again, and then we gotta do it all over again and have her take a second surgery, so I don't know. Like, it just seems crazy to me, and I wanna know if you guys have ever had to deal with this with dogs before. Have you guys ever had to get surgery for your dog or, like, a double knee surgery? Because this just sounds insane to me. Like, I just don't understand how a pipe could collapse under my house and I had to go through all that crap and then my dog just somehow magically has this genetic problem where she's gonna need a double knee surgery. Like, I don't know, like, what's the odds of all that happening, man? There's gotta be a rainbow coming around all these clouds and all these storms, right? Maybe, just maybe, that rainbow would be winning the Call of Duty World Championship. That would be pretty freaking amazing, I'm not gonna lie. Getting a ring and being a world champion would be absolutely amazing. And then, after we win, I'll be like, you know what? I did it so that I could pay for my dog's surgery. <laughs> I'm corny as hell, I'm joking. So you guys, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. You know, I still gotta weigh my options. I'm gonna try to figure it out after the Call of Duty Pro League, but for now, I'm leaning towards the surgery. And again, if you guys have had that, but she does seem very happy. She has very good spirits right now, but the doctor said that those syringes will actually end up wearing off and I'm gonna have to continue doing it. So I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I'm pretty upset that I have to do that to my dog, but you know, it is what it is. And as long as she's happy, I'm gonna be happy as well. Anyways, to turn a new page, I just wanna let you guys know that Gymshark has a crazy, crazy sale going on. There's up to 50% off certain items store-wide if you guys go on Gymshark.com or click the link in the description below. It's in my description. I have it in every single YouTube video. It's like a Gymshark bit.ly link that uh, connects to my name. Gymshark doesn't really do that many promos. So for you guys to say 50% off certain items is amazing. Gymshark, I've been saying it for the last three years since I got sponsored by these guys. Like I'm so proud to be a part of this team. I'm so proud to be working with these people. They're growing and they're just the best company in the world. They have the best apparel in the world. Everything they make is top quality. Like right now I'm wearing a Gymshark sleeveless hoodie. I've went every single day of my life for the last three and whatever years since I've been sponsored by Gymshark with, that, with wearing a Gymshark shirt. Like there hasn't been one day where I haven't worn some item of Gymshark, whether it's a t-shirt, whether it's like, uh, this guy just took forever to die. Whether it's a hoodie, whether it's a jacket, whether it's underwear, whatever it is, like I've worn Gymshark so much and I, I love the brand. So make sure you guys check out that sale. There'll be a link in the description below. I also posted a picture about it on Instagram. If you guys wanna go like the picture, you know, maybe follow me on Instagram, I don't know. It's just at phase underscore sensor. But if you guys are gonna buy something from the sale, let me know in the comments what you guys are gonna cop. I'll let you guys know what I think about it because, you know, I love all the apparel and I'll just, I, I don't know, I just like to know what you guys like. That's what I'm gonna end this video today, guys. My team Complexity actually has to go scrim optic gaming, so I'm gonna be in their cheeks, okay? Crim6, Scumpy, if you're watching this right now, I'm not gonna be getting my cheeks clapped. I'm gonna be clapping your cheeks today in these scrims. Um, it's just all friendly banter, guys, at the end of the day. I'm really good friends with these guys, like I said, but um, let me know in the comments what you think about my dog, Mimi. I think it's only right we do this outro with my puppy, Mimi, right here. <sighs> I feel so bad for her, man, I'm not gonna lie, but I know everything's gonna get better. I know she's gonna be okay, and right now she's pretty happy, and she was actually napping. I had to wake her up from the nap, but Mimi, say bye to YouTube. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to Face Sensor. I don't know why I made her sound like a, a dog, like Darth Vader or something, but that's what we're gonna end this video today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. My puppies are gonna go play right now. I'm gonna go scream out to gaming. Hope you all have a great day. It's been your boy Doug Sensor Martin, and I'm out, guys.
Peace. Yo, what's going on, guys? Doug Sets from Martin here. Hope you guys are having a great day. And today, I'm going to be giving you guys a brand new video where you're talking a little bit about Black Ops 4, about the future of Black Ops 4. But first, I just want to say LeBron James has joined the Lakers officially. I'm pretty pumped about that. Um, I've always been a bandwagon fan when it comes to NBA over certain players, over certain people that I like. And LeBron James, one of my idols, one of my role models out there. So I'm always going to support him and whatever moves he makes. And uh, LA is a really cool place to be to play basketball. So I just wanted to say that at the beginning of this video. I want to know what you guys think about LeBron going to the Lakers in the comments below. Alrighty guys, so I am playing some Black Ops 4. This is actually some beta footage I got from Activision, so huge thank you for Activision for having me come out. I had an MX-9, Advanced Mags, Rapid Fire, Long Barrel, and a Reflex Sight. This is the uh, submachine gun 